Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 5, joined again by Fail Games for a Group B Rally Car Challenge. The only things we're not going to be using are Quattros and Lancias. Lancias because Forza haven't bothered adding them yet, and Quattros because we've done that comparison before. So I've ended it up in this Peugeot Turbo 16 something or other, and fails in an MG of some description. So let's meet up with him and see which car is best. Oh god, I can't see over this wing. Oh wow, that is amazing. It's now time to find out which of these Group B cars is best. Starting with an A to B race. Counter petrol. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I've got you on the launch. Well, talk us through. What is you have there, petrol? It's 205 T16. Or what? Turbo 16, if you're saying it fully, oh, which nobody ever does. Already. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's been modified by me, because for some reason it's not group BFI'd as standard. It has many mud flaps and that thing on the back. I'm an MG Metro GR46. No, 6R4, I think it is. Yes. Uh, and it has a top speed of 133, and that's going to get really irritating because we're going to be bouncing off the limit of the entire video. It's called the 6R4 because it has six cylinders, it's for rallying, and it's four-wheel drive. Woo! That may or may it's not be true. MG because it's an MG. Which stands for Morris Garages. Woo! And this is a Peugeot. A metro sound that stands for metro oh, metropolitan. I don't know. Well, there's an underground train system. Maybe. What, is it a train? Is it underground? I think it's a car and it's overground right now. But wow, the handling is amazing. <laughs> it's just flat out all over the place. Problem is, it's hitting the limiter all over the place, and it's very irritating. This is sliding all over the place. Ah! <laughs> now, I've got to be oh. completely honest, I'd have a lunch over a lunch over I I'd even be I would have a quattro either over either of these. I'd also have a quattro over either of these cars, but that's not really an option. As set by the rules of our challenges. Which yes. was to not have a Cotro or a Lancia because we can't have Lancia because Forts are actually probably because Lancia. Which is why we're in two of the worst cars of all time that for some reason were turned into rally cars. Oh, and that's not gone well. Awesome. Wow, Petrol's cheating, so I shall follow him. I bet this can take this at 100 foot. Go on. No, it can't! Oh. Why did I say that? That was a stupid idea. Why are you sideways all over? I don't know, it's supposed to be all wheel drive. One just sticks to the ground like a. Well, it's not as if I'm ground. lacking downforce. Well, clearly you're lacking. Well, obviously you are because of the tails coming out. <laughs> I know, this car is stupid. Ah! Why am I over I here? Oh, wow! It's murdering people! Goodbye. How can I beat you and have a top speed of 133? Oh no, we're on the motorway. Yeah. I believe this requires a small amount of cheating. I can't actually see where you I'm going to have to go in the interior. I can't see where you are. Can you keep doing that? Because it means I can go slightly faster. What is going on? Oh no! I was trying to ah! What? <laughs> trying to. So I managed to push you off a bridge. Or did you sort of do it yourself? I think you might well, have. Yes, sort of but I was definitely oh, wow. helped. Ow! So. Ah, I never hit you! Well, I kind of swerved towards you and bounced off you. Finally, we're off road! Let's see if these cars are any good. I have driven nicer things off-road, I must say. Right. 
Yeah, that was quite fun, but not very good. Yeah. No, mine was neither fun nor good compared to other things I've driven. Well, I think we can conclude it is currently 1-0 to the MGGR4 Metro after the first challenge. Time for the second one. A slightly more organised race. Except for the TVR, which will inevitably end up off the road. Oh, ah! I want to be pushed by someone so I can have a speed higher than 133. Oh, chase far, I can see over it. Oh, this is excellent. Some seriously solution for a problem that shouldn't exist in the first place vibes. Why am I ahead of you, seriously? Uh, handling in this car just so much better. Oh, your car was built by somebody who knew what they were doing, not me. Oh wow, there's a corner there. I've been killed by a drift car. We've got Lancer and Lance Lou. Representing the Mitsubishis. And Lance Lou. Go on, the Vic. This car isn't good off road at all. I don't like it. Come on, the Turbo Persia. Ow! Ow! Ghosting saved me. Right, I liked it. I enjoyed the ghost. You were. I mean, when I, I drove wasn't. through you. You just absolutely crashed into me. Thank you, Forks, for being very synchronized. Ah! Uh, wow. <laughs> that was fun. And the only way I could possibly hope to win. Can I take this bit flat? Get out of the way, slow Lamborghini. Even if a slightly hollow one to the <laughs> Metro GR4. Three, two, one, go! This kind of matters because if you beat me, the challenges continue. If I beat you, they kind of don't. Victory to the Perjo! Three, two, one, go! Oh, terrible launch. Kind of stalled. Yeah, I kind of did as well. I sort of jumped it and then stalled. Okay. Now it's been on. I'm slightly more used to it on gravel now. I still don't like it. This is kind doesn't of interesting. Ugh, it doesn't drive like you'd want it to, or, and more importantly, it doesn't drive like you'd expect it to. Turn right. It doesn't behave in a manner that's pleasing to the driver. Is this why there were many Group B crashes and it now doesn't exist? Probably. I mean, maybe you're just not supposed to drift this at all. Or is that more to do with the audience walking in front of cars? I think it's more to do with the audience walking in front of the cars, although why didn't they just stop the audience doing that here instead of cancelling everything? They just needed to put up one of those signs that says motorsport can be dangerous, you attend at your own risk. Yeah, what about the drivers who end up murdering people? Well, they'll find we do on a weekly basis. In the DRS. Especially me, it's little. Okay, I think the way to drive this car is not slide it at all. I wouldn't work with this, I just wouldn't go anywhere. And it, so we've got basically a car that wants to slide, and a car that if you slide it, it just misbehaves. Oh, it's a Defender. Wondrous Tuner. 
Whoa! I bet he'd be faster than us. Actually, no, we're sort of demolishing the new Land Rover. Yeah, I still don't like the way this car drives. Yeah, that was a bit of a cut corner, I'll give you that back. I really don't like how this drives. I guess it's fast enough that I can't really complain. I mean, that was in the corners. That was flat, yeah. I think it's because this doesn't want to go sideways, it just sort of sticks to the ground. So it can put more power down. Yes, which is probably what this should do. But it doesn't feel nice at all to drive. You want it to get a bit out. Which I guess it does, but it's sort of it's got a square wheel base, if that makes sense. So it sort of feels a bit go karty Very technical. Oh, I'm in with pebbles. There's a finish line basically with group destination. I think so, yeah. I bet you have been a straight line here, which is what this attention is. Oh, well, there is a big corner there, which I'll be able to take flat out. I oh. might as well. Yeah. Oh no, this is going to be close. No! No! Petrol wins! To all! Ah, whoa. That didn't I'm work. Floating. I was going to do a dramatic flip off the rock and fly down the mountain, but the splitter got stuck. Oh, wow, I can see the track Ooh. from here. This is a very interesting hitbox. Oh! Oh, there we go, there's a flip. Or not. Well, oh, what the last challenge of the evening? Actually, we know what the last challenge of the evening is. Drifting! To decide which of the two Group B cars is best. Turn around. Right, I know you don't like getting your tail out, MG, but you're gonna have to. That was terrible. One go, or die. Brr. Ow. Two goes. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. Yes, go for it. Who goes? Oh, you're going that. My first go was better and I managed to spin it. In 400 meters, Ooh. turn right. It starts with a three. I'm just going to use my first show. Mine started with a three. Five. Four. Victory to the MG Metro GR4. Group B, 1986. We've determined that it's that the, me the MG is better. It is. But which would you rather have? The Quattro. Apart from a Quattro and or a Lancia. Probably this, just because of that wing. Hmm. I'd have it have a cost as well, so I can sell it and buy a Toyota. Mine's the best donutting car I've ever driven. What? Oh wow. So there we go, that's what happened in our Group B comparison here on Forza Horizon 5. In two strange hatchbacky things, because we didn't want to use the Quattro and we couldn't use a Lancia. So that was kind of an interesting comparison of two less good Group B cars that neither of us like as much as the other ones. But anyway. That is going to be all for today's video. As always, do go and check out Fail's channel, which will be linked in the description. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon.